Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be talking all about my February favorites. February was a shorter month, so for this month, I do have less products than usual. Well, it feels like it's less products than usual. But nonetheless, I still have a bunch of items here that I'm just loving, obsessing over, and I just want to share them with you guys. So like always, if you guys are interested in hearing about my favorites, then just continue watching. So before we get started with the video, I'm sure I'm going to get a couple of comments about my eye look. I just want to let you guys know that yes, I did film this eye look. It will be part of my Zodiac pigment review video that I'm doing. I think that video is going to go up after this one. So on Friday, you guys will see this eye look along with other eye looks that I'm creating with the pigments. So I did film it. Just thought I would let you know. But getting into the favorites, I'm gonna start off with a skincare tool. So I don't know if you guys know 43 Beauty. It's ColourPop's like sister company. ColourPop's like skincare line in a way. I got this like, what would you call this? I don't know what the stone they used for this specific one. It's pretty much like a facial massager. There's a bigger side on one end and then a smaller side on the other. So you can get like around your nose, under your eyes. I like putting this in the fridge and it keeps it really, really cool because over here in New Zealand it is summertime and then when I take it out of the fridge and I roll it on my face it just feels so soothing, so relaxing and so cooling especially in the summertime it's like just great to Oh, it feels so good on the skin. I don't really know what it actually does for the skin, but it feels great on the skin. You know what I mean? And when you're taking a bath, you can like just relax and just roll this on your skin. This thing is like very, very in right now in the skincare world, I feel. It's like everywhere, like every skincare brand has one of these. I got a rose quartz one for my mom for her birthday last year, and it was like a hundred bucks. But this one is, I, I don't know the price of it, but I know it's very affordable. Definitely not a hundred dollars what I spent on my mom. If you're looking for one of these guys, an affordable one, so I would say, you know, 4 Beauty is a great place where you can get one of these. They also have the rose quartz one, the pink one. But, you know, I wanted to get the black one because it looks all stealth and just classic. The item that I want to share with you guys is the It's My Pleasure eyeshadow palette. I am just so obsessed with these, like, nine pen palettes from ColourPop. I think they are just so great, so monochromatic. If you watch my review, it was a very, very positive one. I loved almost everything about it. The only thing that I didn't like about it was the red range of mattes. I wish there was like one more matte in here, one less shimmer. But that's honestly just being very nitpicky. Overall, this is a great purple palette. If you want just an affordable purple palette to get, this is a great one to have. A lot of people are asking me if this compares to Novena. I can see where you're coming from, but I personally feel like it's super different. Novena also has a couple more shades in there as well. And the price range is just completely different. If you're just on the budget, you want a purple palette, this is going to work great for you. You don't have to go and spend more money and get the Norvina one. Also the formula is very different as well. I do like the Norvina palette. It is one of my favorite palettes but if I'm gonna like just compare this one just works equally as great and it's more affordable. So why wouldn't I recommend this one? You know what I mean? If you're looking for a purple palette this one is a great one and I'm just sitting here patiently waiting for a green one to come out. I love green against my brown eyes so I'm waiting for a green one. Colourpop my wallet is ready. Colourpop also came out with their BFF Conceal concealers mascaras I have the black one I also have the pink and yellow one but I haven't tried those ones out yet I'm waiting for the BFF liners to come in and I'm gonna do like a whole video on that but so far I've only got to try out the black one and I've been loving it if you guys are a fan of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara you are going to love this one as well I just feel like the formula is so similar where it's very I wouldn't say thick but it's like quite goopy also the brush is very similar and just the clumpiness and the way it just curls my lashes is very very similar to the Too Faced one but this one is much 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 more affordable so I feel like I'm just gonna keep repurchasing the Colourpop one because that's all I need. Mascaras honestly I'm not too fussed over. I mean if a mascara works it works but you know the Too Faced one was my favorite one but this one because of the price is now my favorite. I've also been loving a new blush from Colourpop. I know like every other month I tell you guys I like a new blush, but I like blushes like for different reasons. So this is like my blush palette. I'm trying to fill it up here. Although there is a bronze in here, but I've been liking this guy, but this one's a little bit different. As you guys can see, it's a little bit brighter, a bit more darker. 
So this one is called Glass Slipper. I actually got this in my ambassador box. I don't know why, more recently I've been liking a brighter blush. You can see that these ones are a little bit more muted and this one's just like a little bit brighter. You definitely can use this like a little bit more muted by just going with a light hand or you can pack it on and give you more of a brighter flush. It's not overpowering on the face. I'm wearing it on my face today. I don't feel like it looks too crazy out there. I just been really liking this for like a pop of color on my eyes and especially when I did my three looks for the It's My Pleasure palette. Something about pairing this kind of mauve pinky purple blush really paired well with it and I really liked how it looked. So when I wear more like purple based eye looks, I would always go for this blush like today because my eye look is more purple. So I've been really liking this. I feel like I will probably like any blush from Colourpop. I'm just discovering them one by one. I love their blush formula, their pressed blush formula. So that's a new one that I've been liking. For my last makeup item are the Colourpop Velvet Blur Luxe Lipsticks. I have been loving these guys so much. I have a couple here that are my favorite, but my ultimate favorite is obviously this one. Hey, Mr. DJ. I'm not wearing it today because I didn't feel like it really paired with my eye look nicely, so I didn't want to wear it. But some of my other favorites, I also like 21 Questions, CA Love, Creme Finish, and Sphinx. I know I'm still saying that one wrong, but yeah, I've just been loving these colors. I think they are great just for like everyday wear, but surprisingly, I have two like brighter favorites. Fake Love, which I actually wore a couple times in the past month. It's like a nice pop of color. I like how the velvet blurs, you can just literally blur it out. And even though it's like such a bright, vibrant color, you can make it so wearable. And I actually really liked wearing this. And then I also like Super Bloom as well. So yeah, those were my favorites out of the velvet blur line. I would highly recommend them. I love the formula. I love how it looks on the lips. It makes your lips look so like plumped. I love it. So those were all of my makeup favorites. I have one more favorite for you guys and it's like a lifestyle favorite. Last month I mentioned that I've been playing Pokemon Go and I am still playing it. If you guys want to add me, I need one more friend to finish a mission. A lot of you guys added me and then I got a mission where I had to make three friends and I need one more friend to complete that mission. So if you guys want to add me, I'm going to put my code over the screen. I'm still playing. I believe I'm level 24 now. Yeah, it's been fun. I've been playing a little bit less this month because I've been a bit more busy, but I did buy Pokemon Let's Go on the Nintendo Switch and I have been loving it. It reminds me of my childhood, guys. I used to play Pokemon on my Game Boy like every single day with my brother. You guys might be surprised, but when I was younger, I was literally a tomboy. Like I looked like a boy. I grew up with my brother and his friends. So I was a huge tomboy when I was younger, which so I got the Eevee version. It's exactly like, like Pokemon. Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Gold, Blue, Sapphire. It brings back so many memories and it's almost exactly the same. Although when I was younger, I never finished the game. Like I never clocked it because I was literally like five years old, six years old playing Pokemon. I would always get up to like the third gym and then I would restart and train my Pokemon very high. I'll get to the third gym again and just keep restarting because I always wanted to like train my Pokemon. I don't know, I was a really weird kid. I probably got this in the beginning of February, maybe mid-February. I already got my eight gym badges. I'm about to go to the league, but I'm just like wandering around right now. Like even the music is exactly the same when like you go to Nurse Joy, you charge your Pokemon, the ding, 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 is exactly the same as the old version. It's just the graphics. Uh, so much better and when you catch the Pokemon it's kind of like Pokemon Go where you have to like swipe it. It is more of the expensive games with Nintendo Switch but it's definitely a really great game. It's a very simple easy game to get like you know you don't have to use any strategy. There's a little bit of strategy because obviously you got to know which weakness to which Pokemon you got to use but it's a really straightforward game. It's a really fun game. After I clocked this game I don't know what to play. I gave up on Zelda because Zelda you actually need skills to play you know. So if you guys have any like Switch games that you guys want to recommend to me like let me know. Games like this where it's like a role play game, but it's like simple something more advanced than Pokemon Something less advanced than Zelda, but yeah, that is pretty much it for my favorites And now I want to move on to a little special Giveaway I didn't want to put it in the title of this video or I didn't want to announce it in the beginning of the video because in the month of February we did hit 60,000 subscribers and as you guys know if you've been following me for a while every time I hit a new 
new 10k I have done a giveaway and this time around I thought I wouldn't announce it I wouldn't write it in the title because what I realized with my past giveaways is that because I titled the video 50k giveaway for example a lot of the comments and entries probably weren't subscribers of mine they probably just saw the video and then subscribed just to enter the giveaway and when I do these giveaways I want to give them to someone that actually watches my video and supports me and is a loyal supporter so I thought this time around I'm just testing it out I don't think every single giveaway I'll do it like in a secret but for 60k I thought I would try it out see how it goes because for those of you guys that clicked on this video you literally just came here to watch my February favorites you had no idea that there was gonna be a giveaway in here so to me that's like that's who I want to give this giveaway to you know and I know if you're like a loyal supporter you don't have to watch every single one of my videos so that's why I'm not gonna do it in secret all the time maybe here and there I will do it in secret but I'm just gonna try it out see how it goes and yeah I literally just want to thank you guys so much for 60k like it blows my mind and we're already like at 62 one of my goals for 2019 is to hit 100,000 by the end of the year and it just seems a little bit more possible which I felt like it wouldn't be possible but when we hit these milestones I'm just like wow this is like literally happening but I'm gonna stop rambling I'll just show you guys what you will be winning I'm not gonna explain the rules because I feel like this video is already like very long I'm gonna write all the rules in the description box so just open that up and see how you can enter it's gonna be exactly like all my other giveaways so if you have entered in the past exactly the same but if you forgot how to enter or you're new here just open up my description box all the rules will be in there I just want to quickly show you you what you'll be winning in this giveaway. So a couple of the items in here are some items that I got sent from Colourpop in my ambassador box but I already own those items so I just put them to the side for this giveaway. Some of them were sent to me and some of them I did purchase with my own money. You will be getting the Britman Rock lip bundle, the lip bundle. You'll also be getting his lit palette as well and also the glittery obsessed glitter in the shade OMG I'm wet. You'll also be getting a Colourpop tapered blending brush which is actually called an E2 brush. This is the brush that I use like in all my eye looks. It's this brush that I use for my transition shadows. You'll be getting an ultra blotter lip in Zuma. A creme gel liner in the shade Puppy. I accidentally ordered two of these. I already own this one and I forgot that I owned it. I accidentally bought another one so I thought I would give you guys one. It's like a pretty bright orange shade and you guys know how much I love the Colourpop creme gel liners. You'll also be getting the Luxe lipstick in the shade 27 and the last Colourpop item in this box will be the Innuendo highlighting palette. This is like my favorite highlighting palette. I've had this for so long meaning to put it into a giveaway box. It's such a great highlighting palette. So you'll be getting that. Those were all the Colourpop products in this box that you'll be receiving. And then we have some items from NYX. This is still from the NYX Face Awards from last year. You'll be getting the Simply Pink, Simply Nude, Simply Red, and Simply Vamp. You'll be getting a Glam Light liner in the shade Glam Pink. I also have this. I love this guy. It's such a great glitter liner. And you'll also be getting a baked blush in the shade Journey. And then I just also added a couple of like skincare items in here that I won't be using and I thought I would add it in here if you guys want to use it for yourself. There's a couple of sheet masks that I got like sent but they aren't cruelty free so thought I'd pass it on to you guys. And that is pretty much everything that I'll be giving away for this 60k giveaway. Hopefully you guys like the items in here. I have my 70k already to go. I have so many items to give out. So yeah, once again, all the information that you need to know how to enter will be down below. You have to follow all of them to be able to enter into this giveaway. I feel like I've been rambling on for a really long time now, so I'm just gonna quickly wrap things up here. I hope you guys enjoyed my February favorites, even though I didn't have that many items to share with you guys this month. Good luck if you are entering, and that is pretty much it for today's video. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video and all my videos, and for 60K and for everything. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!